welcome to the physics tips for cambridge students youtube channel today we are going to be looking at uh, errors and uncertainties uh, before we go any further please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you get notified of my future videos without much further ado uh, let's get started errors and uncertainties Right, so when a measurement is made with an instrument, there is some uncertainty in the result. The uncertainty is generally referred to as an error. In a single measurement with a scale instrument, the maximum uncertainty is taken to be half the distance between adjacent scale markings, and the maximum possible uncertainty is equal to the distance between adjacent scale markings. This is the precision with which the scale can be read. So if you have an object as shown there that has been placed on top of the ruler, there is an uncertainty in reading this measurement here and there is another uncertainty in reading this measurement there. So we can be off or on uh, the correct measurement by half the reading. Okay, so if we move, as we move from here to there, that's a full movement that is of one millimeter. So it means we can be off by half that marking so which is there and there so if you add the two you get uh, plus or minus one millimeter so a graduated um, a ruler that is graduated in millimeters there's an uncertainty of one half a millimeter in judging the position of each end of the body against the rule so the maximum possible uncertainty is uh, two times that which is equal to plus or minus one millimeter so which means the precision of this measuring instrument is plus or minus one millimeter a micrometer with a precision of 0 0.01 millimeters gives readings that each have a precision of uh, 0 0.01 millimeters now let's look at these uncertainties we have what are called absolute uncertainties we have fractional uncertainties and then we've got percentage uncertainties now when we say absolute uncertainty that is the uncertainty that is uh, from the measuring instrument for example if you have a reading 208 plus or minus one millimeter it means that the instrument that has been used to measure this is a meter rule because remember we said that uh, the meter rule measures to a, a precision of plus or minus one millimeter the micrometer measures to a precision of 0 0.01 millimeters i think we might mention that as well uh, right there and then a vernier calipers uh, measures to an accuracy of 0 0.01 centimeters which is 0 0.1 millimeters so we said absolute uncertainties these are uncertainties that are related to the measuring instrument itself so when then we calculate say we've got density is equal to mass over volume we are going to measure the mass we are going to measure the volume so which means we are going to have absolute uncertainties of uh, the mass that is uh, from the balance itself and then from the measuring instrument that we've used to measure the volume then which means the absolute uncertainty for density is going to be related to the absolute uncertainties of uh, mass and volume now when we talk of fractional errors or fractional uncertainties we are now saying this absolute uncertainty over the measurement so the absolute uncertainty in this case is plus or minus one millimeter divided by 208 which is the measurement we get a fractional uncertainty so one over 208 um, and it has no units as well because it is uh, remember the uncertainty is also in millimeters the measurement is in millimeters so it means this is a ratio percentage uncertainties is then the fractional uncertainty multiplied by a hundred which is going to give you a percentage so in this case it's one over 208 which gives you 0 0.48 percent which we can round up to 0 0.5 percent to one sf the uncertainty or error is an estimate only and is usually required to one significant figure. Now when we combine errors, suppose we've got two quantities A and B 
a is equal to 5.1 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters so it means that we are measuring using a, me a, a meter row again there and then b is equal to 3.2 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters right we want to find q q can be equal to a plus b so if K q is equal to a plus b you are going to add the quantities first that is 0 5.1 plus 3.2 to give you 8.3 now when adding or subtracting quantities you need to add the absolute error so if you add 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 that gives you 0 0.2 and uh, if q is equal to a minus b you subtract 5 uh, 3.2 from 5.1 first you get 1.9 and then remember I said we add the absolute uncertainties which is going to be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 giving you 0 0.2 centimeters again so uncertainties always increase when adding or subtracting quantities so if both quantities q um, are high or read high then we have a 5.2 plus 3.3 .3, right because we have 5.1 so the upper bound of 5.1 plus or minus 0 0.1 one is 5.2 and then the lower bound will be 5.0 the upper bound of this one 3.3 .3, lower bound 3.1 so 5.2 plus 3.3 .3 gives you 8.5 and then if both quantities read low that you'll be adding the lower bounds which gives you 8.3 okay so if both quantities read high uh, in the subtraction we have uh, 1.9 centimeters is our value and then put uh, it low we have got 1.9 centimeters again then when multiplying and dividing uncertainties you need to add the percentage errors okay you add the percentage errors so in this case where a is equal to 8.3 plus or minus 0 0.2 you find the percentage uncertainty uh, of that okay so the percentage uncertainty in a is uh, so sorry we a is equal to 5.1 plus or minus 0 0.1 over the so you add uh, the, the percentage uncertainty so 0 0.1 over 5.1 times 100 that's the percentage uncertainty in a then the percentage uncertainty in b is 0 0.1 over 3.2 times 100 which gives you 3.13 uh, percent so if q is equal to a times b you are simply adding these uh, percentage uncertainties so that would be um, that would be uh, that 1.96 plus 3.13 for the percentage uncertainties so it means if you multiply 5.1 times 3.2 that that is a times b you're going to get 16.32 and then uh, the percentage uncertainties, remember if we added them, you're getting 5.09%. Uh, so which means that uh, 16, uh, Q is equal to A times B would be 16.32 uh, plus or minus 5.09, which is approximately 5, uh, 3.16.32 uh, plus or minus 5% to 1 SF. And then if you find 5% of 16.32, you get 0 0.816 so this now becomes the absolute uncertainty of q which is a times b so remember we then have to express this to one sf again which then becomes 0 0.8 so which means our value we need to change it so that it is uh, consistent with the decimal places on the uncertainty so our 16.32 now is expressed as 16.3 plus or minus 0 0.8 because there's only one decimal place on the uncertainty similarly when you are dividing um, quantities that is a divided by b we add the percentage uncertainties so since we have our percentage uncertainty is 5.09 percent we are saying 5.09 uh, percent of 5.1 over 3.2 which gives you 5% um, uh, of 1.59375, giving you 0 0.0796, which we can express to one SF as 0 
then we rearrange our value of fuck a over b to be consistent with the decimal places on the uncertainty so that becomes 1.59 okay so that is how you you uh, deal with uncertainties when you are multiplying or dividing quantities now suppose we do have powers again on our uh, calculation suppose we have a uh, q being equal to a squared you multiply the percentage error by the power multiply the percentage error by the power so a squared means that we are multiplying by two so it will be two times the percentage uh, error okay that's how it is so this means uh, this triangle there means uncertainty okay so two times the percentage uncertainty in a is the uncertainty of uh, a squared so since we know the uncertainty uh, we put the percentage uncertainty in a we found it up there is 1.96 percent so we just multiplying the 1.96 percent by 2 which gives you uh, uh, 3.92 percent so a squared itself is 5.1 squared which is uh, 26.01 so if you say 3.92 over 100 times 26.01 you get the absolute uncertainty which uh, would give you um, yeah, 0. Uh, 1.04 okay so that's plus or minus one centimeter squared which then is 26 plus or minus one okay because we we, we now having units here which uh, uh, in to one SF the uncertainty is uh, uh, one so which means you adjust your reading 26.01 so that it becomes it doesn't have any decimals anymore it becomes 26 only plus or minus one Similarly, if you have got a square root sign, now that is q is equal to the square root of b, having a square root just means that you're multiplying to the power of half. So you multiply the percentage uncertainty by half. Okay. So we know the percentage uncertainty of b was 3.13%. Say it's 0.1 over 3.2 times 100. So 3.13% multiplied by a half. That becomes what? 1.565%. Then if you say 1.565% of uh, this 1.78, which is the square root of 3.2, we then get uh, uh, 0 0.03577. That's the absolute uncertainty in uh, the square root of B. So to 1 SF, that is going to be uh, 0 0.04. Then you adjust again your value so that it's consistent with this number of decimal places. So it's now 1.78. Uh, strictly 1.79 the okay so it's supposed to be 1.79 plus or minus 0 0.04 centimeters to the power of half okay so um, I think I have to show a, an example again a worked example of, from a past exam paper so in my next video the part two video i'm going to show that to be the november 2009 please make sure you watch that one and uh, you subscribe to the channel signing out